We're getting some information from Tampa Print today. We're going to learn how to mix and load an SIC60E. We're going to start out with our ink. Today we're using a basic type O. And as you will notice on your can, it gives you heads up as to what type of thinners to use, ratios for other products, and so on. It's a quite simple process. Your, your main tool in this program is going to be a gram scale. Um, on a 60 millimeter machine, you will not use much more than 70, 70 grams of ink depending upon the work you're trying to do. And that's basically the information you'll need here right now. If you use a two component ink, you will mix ink harder, thinner. That is important that you learn that uh, format of mixing because otherwise your ink will not work as planned. Right now, my scale is already zeroed out. I'm going to open my key and ink. kind of laid my tools of the trade out. I'll show my weight of cup. I will zero that back down. And we're going to go with approximately 50 grams of ink. My can has already been mixed. You will definitely want to mix your cans before you utilize them. And again, with a single component ink, it isn't really rocket science. Um, something close, just as long as you remember those numbers. All right, we're 58 grams. Now, thinner will go next. 10 to 20% ratio, as you can see, this is, this is way too thick to do anything with. Sometimes it does come out of the can workable. Uh, let's say, I believe I saw 58 grams, 58 grams it is, 10% of 58 is 5.80, I'm going to zero out, we're going to go with 5, 580, 6, somewhere in that area, and we're going to start right there. As you can still see, it takes approximately 5 minutes. They recommend that you mix your inks together to get them to the perfect consistency that you'll need to print with. Still much on the thick side, so it looks like maybe we're going to go to the 20%, so we'll double that and go to somewhere around 11 grams. The viscosity of your ink is actually what is going to make your print. This is the starting of your, of your process to um, make yourself a good print. If your ink is not the consistency that you need, you are gonna not, you're not going to be able to really pull it off. It's going to be done basically by feel in the beginning. Uh, we give you guidelines, the 10 to 20 percent thinner, but it all depends on temperature in the room you're working, humidity in the air, and so on. Personally, in my opinion right now, I am still, I am still on the thick side. So I'm going to go at approximately uh, 15 grams of ink, and that was on 60 grams of ink and 15 grams actually 16 on on thinner now we're getting a lot closer to where I'd like to be you can feel it as you stir how it uh, loosens up a little bit it's still in my opinion a little bit on the thick side sometimes that's good sometimes it's bad we're actually going to run with this Tell if it's thick or thin. Well, in, in what I do, 
as I will stir the ink, I will pull it out and run it back and forth. And you can see it kind of leaves a little trail. You would like for that trail to almost instantly disappear, but not, not make a funnel inside of the ink. Actually, I'm gonna splash just a little bit more. And again, this is gonna be a process that you will learn as time goes on on your own. It's, it, again, we give you guidelines. That's a little bit better. All right, we're going to go to the other room and I will show you how to load and make your first print on an SIC 60E.